I don't know if my audio recording is working right. Well, that was the first thing said on today's show. Woo! <laughs> That's all right. <clears throat> Welcome, all of our internet friends. Good afternoon to episode two. We actually made it to the second episode this time, not 1.5. <laughs> it's episode two of Beards, Tattoos, and Video Games. I'm your host, The Party Train, joining us via Skype down in that, that corner? Yeah, wait, there we go. <laughs> that corner is <laughs> Spencer. Spencer one. Spencer one. Come on, we use secret names here. I, I know. We, no, we, we only use Spen- secret names when uh, Spencer's or, or Taylor's around. Okay. Well, you mean you mean Boo? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> my, my, you ruined it my, already. Yeah. When my Boo's around. <laughs> yeah. We're bad at this. And joining us via TeamSpeak, because he cannot join us this afternoon, is Flankton. Flankton. I'm here. Whee! <laughs> I'm hearing stuff being being sent to me somewhere. Yeah, I don't know on, where it is. It's on TeamSpeak. I don't know why it's oh. there. Cool. Oh, just say, ignore that. <laughs> Ignored. Um, so how was everybody's yeah. week? How'd you how how'd you how'd you do? How'd you fare? Well, like last week, I worked way too much and didn't really have a ton of time to play video games. But I tried. I played here and there a little bit. But Good man. Damn work. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> damn that I work. I just wanna I just wanna stream for work. That'd be fun. Stream <laughs> from dream. work. The dream. Oh, for oh, work. That's his job. For Got work. it. Yeah. Mm. But that's all right. Whatever. It I is played what it a shit ton of uh, GTA. Grand Theft Auto. Time. The good old Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Found some friends that actually played on 360. So I've been playing the multiplayer. And it's pretty cool. Stayed up till like cool. 2 o'clock on Friday. Nice. It's unheard of because old man go to bed early. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. And then I played the beta. Talk about that later. The hardline beta. Yeah, but my yeah. my origin just said it finished downloading. So Oh, you actually got it on the PC? Yeah. Yeah, I got uh, it on PC. You have to link me that after this cuz I want to see the, I want to compare the graphics from the 360 cuz I know they're going to be shit, but I just want to see how bad it is. You get see how much different it is? <laughs> yeah. It's, so <laughs> it's, it's probably it's probably crazy. It's super hard to aim at, with like a controller after you've been using a mouse and keyboard. I believe that. Like also playing Grand Theft Auto that has auto lock, and then you're fighting someone, and you constantly zoom in and out of your fucking like sight because you think it's gonna re auto lock, and you miss all your shots because you're stupid. <laughs> so that's fun. That sounds like a good time. That's great yeah. though. Yeah. Bobby, good, what did you do? This good time. time. Um. Well, I spent a lot of time with the hospital, of course, and I played some video games. I finished the unfinished Swan, which is an awkward statement to say. <laughs> um, I played a little bit of Pathion, and uh, last night I played Rogue Legacy and turned it into a drinking game, and that was kind of fun. And I, I got... saw that stream pop up. I didn't know what that was about. Yeah, I, I I was drinking a little and having a good time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's so what do, we, what do we want? Do you want to talk about the news, or do you want to talk about the games first? Let's talk about the news, I guess, or LCS. You want to do talk LCS. about you want to do LCS first? All right. Yeah, LCS. we can do you that. Just a, you, just, you just saw a great game that just finished a couple minutes ago, right before. Dignitas! We yeah, buddy. <laughs> that was my a really boys. fun game. My boys. I enjoyed that. My boys and Dignitas. Damn, two stepping to fuse this game. So did Shifter, though. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? Kiwi Kid, the bindings. <laughs> well, Kiwi Kid, Kiwi Kid's always my MVP. Kiwi okay. Kid, the real in MVP. And in our minds. <laughs> Alright, so what, what else happened well, in the LCS this weekend? Yeah, Nate, you're like uh, our, our, our well, LCS that, bro. Are we just, in, just want to talk about the NA because no one watches EU? Yeah. Yeah, nobody cares about EU. I mean, granted, my fantasy LCS league got lost <laughs> in EU this week, so. <laughs> yeah, dude, shout out to fucking Jay. We're talking shit on Fnatic, and then he drafts the whole Fnatic squad. <laughs> yeah, he traded his whole team in for the Fnatic team. Uh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Um, what, day one, we had Gravity and Impulse, Impulse 1, uh, I was cleaning my house while I was watching that, so I didn't really pay attention too much, oh. uh, yeah, so, whatever. St. Vicious, suck it, Cloud9 <laughs> Team 8 was the next one, Cloud9, I mean, I, I'm still Cloud9 one, yeah, they look good, they were, uh, finally, I mean, I guess it's Team 8, but, yeah, whatevs. 
Yeah, I mean, Team Eight is what the uh, the Challenger Series um, team that came in this year as one of yeah, the yeah. I don't know teams. if they they joined off the Challenger or the. I think it was the Challenger, not the expansion tournament. I don't. It might I have been the expansion tournament. I don't, I don't know. No, but well, they're yes, they're they're one of the new teams. Another thing they're known for is uh, Cali Trollo Lulz up in the top lane. He's crazy. And Maple Street is their care is their ADC. That's. Uh, odd one's little brother. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. He's pretty cool. He looks just like the yeah, odd one. That's he like, looks just like yeah, him. Yeah, that's just, just a funny. little baby version. Little odd bro. <laughs> yeah. Is that like uh, the uh, the uh, coach for whatever team that is that looks just like Josh? Yeah, that's CLG. <laughs> yeah, CLG <laughs> coach. Uh, I told Bobby that. I was talking to him on Facebook and I was like, it's Josh's brother. <laughs> it totally is. It's, it's really funny. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, game three of day one was Team Solo Mid and Dignitas. Team Solo Mid. Crushed him. Sorry, Bobby. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, to be fair, to be Here's fair, there. Dignitas was looking good in the beginning of that game. Oh, yeah, they, I, yeah. I was, I was, I was, uh, I was pulling for him, and then it all just fell apart. That, those sniper shots coming from Zerath to Pearson, that was brutal. Oh, yeah. That was brutal. So good. He's, <laughs> yeah. dude, I don't know, man. The Beer King can't yeah, dude, handle it. He's too good. I hate him. I love him, but I hate him. <laughs> I love him, but I hate him. So, the uh, the next game was Coast and Liquid. Did Coast win till they lost again? No, they just lost. Yeah, they just <laughs> that like that game was not fun to watch. Uh, <laughs> they put Piglet on Vane, and they were like, "All right, go, good." And then they were like so scared of him that they like just got they just lost the game. Like it was super boring. Yeah, but uh, sucks. Yeah, but yeah, Team Liquid won. Good job, whatevs. Uh, last game of day one, CLG and Winter Fox. Fucking CLG, man. The dream. <laughs> Potential intensifies. Insane. Looking real good. They dominated. Uh, trying to think. Highlights off the top of my head on that one. I don't think there were any like real standout highlights. CLG just ran over them. What was your favorite play from yesterday? Like, overall? Favorite play. Like your favorite game, dude. Of, I know there the was that Quas one v two in the coast game, and he was Lissandra, and he just made them look like fools. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that that one that one was pretty good. Um, <sighs> my favorite game is probably the CLG game because if Dignitas is losing, I fall back on CLG because my boys. That rush hour bot lane is a lot of fun to watch, and I love me They're some so Afro. Good. That boy, dude. They're so good. <laughs> It's like uh, they've been talking a lot in their like after game interviews or whatever, and saying that the team energy is like a lot more positive, and they're all having fun. Yeah, yeah. They're and like they're, like, they're s- treating the games like they're just having fun instead of just like being super stressed out. So yeah, and they're, they s- it's showing. I remember in the good. the end of the game today, uh, they interviewed Aframu, and he said that they're laughing during the games, which has never happened before. So that's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Good. Good like, positive we're sign. We're having having jokes and. Like, ah, uh, just, you know, having a good time. Yeah. Even if we end up losing, it's still fun, you know? So. Yeah, we just need to have a good time. Right, so when you <laughs> have, see the pros having good times and demolishing, it's uh, it's kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so that was day one. Day two, this morning, you know, I got, it's still going on. So, so far, we got Cloud9 and Coast. Cloud9, once again, fucking, looking good. Dominated. Yeah, Cl- Cl- Cloud9's looking scary again. Um, I'm... Had, uh, they tried to ban out high. They, t- like, they banned out... Uh, Cassidy and Lissandra tried to ban him out, and he still got LeBlanc, <laughs> another mobile eight like. So assassin. Yeah. so so his his other best champion. Yeah, I mean, he looked good. He was talking about how his uh, confidence has been shaky lately, so it's good to see him forming, I guess. Balls in the top lane got Rumble. <sighs> so talk, good. Talk, talk about that two v one for a second. Dude, they were going <laughs> over it. They're going over it after the game and kind of broke it down and. It, like it's crazy the little intricacies that these fucking dudes pull off because make it look so easy. They he waited until the turret had switched aggro to the like uh, to the Jarvan that was attacking him, and by the time it had, like it attacked a couple of minions, warmed up, got to max damage, it took one shot, and as soon as it hit that Jarvan, he just exploded on him and hit him with all his damage, and it just melted him. It was crazy. Three v one, he just. Kills the guy, gets double buffs, and then pretty much GG. GG at three minutes in, you're just like, well, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. From there, it was just a snowball for Cloud9. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. 
Uh, game two was Counter Logic Gaming and Gravity. Uh, CLG, like you said, man, looking good. Stomped them. I'm really looking forward to next week. The TSM CLG game is going to be so intense. It's gonna, it's uh, it's going to be from uh, from picks and bands. It's just going to be tension in the air. Dude, when is what is that? Oh, that's day two. The next Sunday. The Sunday. next Sunday. Nice. Are we going to be doing podcasts Dude, when that yeah, happens? Yeah, it's like at 2 no, o'clock. It's, okay, it'll well, be real close. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we, we, we'll may, we may, we may run a little late that day. <laughs> <laughs> to check it out. Um, the game I just finished, Team Liquid, Team Dignitas. Dignitas. Team Dignitas has been, uh, been struggling. Looking good. Hitting, blowing people up, hitting bindings. Looking like a team. I was, I was a little worried about the, the two new imports, the language barrier, but that game, they look good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 Core JJ's early game is still kind of sketchy. He needs to work on that a little bit, I guess. Dude, I, don't know. I can tell you, he looks super aggressive this game. Yeah, yeah, and he's never he knew, looked that. He way. knew he, got, he was ahead, and he knew how to just like punish. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty good to see. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Kiwi Kid on the Morgana, that, that <laughs> flash alts, bindings from the bushes, just dude, just a no terror. Regrets. Yeah, going just, in, <laughs> just, going just running in. Running in at the dragon pit. Kiwi kid don't give no fucks. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. But and then that was the last <laughs> game we saw. Right now the team eight winter Fo- team eight and winter fox are uh, playing. Last game of the day is team solo mid and impulse. So check so that out. Watch it, whatevs. We'll see what we'll happens with those. That. Yeah. That's it for the LCS. Cool. Nice. Yeah. It was it was a pretty uh pretty exciting week. A lot a lot of pretty exciting games this week. Oh wait, uh, big news in LCS. Did we already talk about it last what? week, or there was that uh, development this week of Crumbs? Oh yeah, oh, Crum- yeah, Crum- yeah. Crumbs. Crumbs stepping down from uh, from Team Dignitas this week. Uh, he's replaced by uh, Cloud Win, who's in the jungle right now. It's for Dignitas. We'll see how. I don't know if he's going to be a permanent player or not. It doesn't. Say he's that... still trying out. Like, yeah. It's part of his tryout. It's yeah. Pretty, like through the fire into flame, man. Yeah. It's so like, you're going to try out by playing in the game Matches that, that count. determine. Yeah. You know, <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, there, there, there was somebody else they were looking at, the, an e- e- EU jungler um, who isn't playing right now. I can't remember who it was, but he said that he wants to come back to play, and there's a lot of rumors going around that he's he's going to be Dignitas' jungler, which would be cool. Mm. Um, yeah, I, mean, I don't think there's anything else to really talk about that. I mean, it's sad, sad, really sad to see Crumbs go. Dude, we'll just see an all-star team of like Crumbs and Cutie Pie and all the other retired LOL players. Yeah, and they'll I be mean, did, like ultra did, super team. Yeah. Did, did, did they talk <laughs> about why he left? Or it was um, a, like a big uh, like he had he wanted to play the game like his way, and then like the team kind of didn't. They wanted they thought their focus should be on other parts of the game. From what like the best way I could say it, I guess. Yeah, it was um. Crumbs was elected the captain this year, or the split. I think, like, last split as well. Um, but he wanted to do things one way, and they all wanted to do kind of things a different way, and it wasn't really clicking. So Crumbs couldn't lead a team that didn't respect him, is what he said. And he just felt like it would be better for the team if he stepped down. And now Cloudwind comes in, and he's calling all the shots. So... <laughs> Go figure. Kid, kid, second, second LCS game, and he's a shot caller for Dignitas already. I mean, I mean to be fair, he's already won as many games as Crumbs has this year. So. Yeah, <laughs> the split. He's he's got he's got uh, as many wins as Crumbs. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> little little jab there. <laughs> but we'll see. He, they look good. Like I said, they won today. I mean, it's two games, so nothing to get too crazy about. But yeah, yeah. I I I, 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 I thought they looked good today. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> So next week, game to look forward to is the TSM um, CLG. CLG game. Yeah, but that that'll that'll place. determine first place for the first um, circle well, round of every TSM team playing every to play team. Today, so if they somehow will end up losing, then CLG uh, yeah, sole position. But <laughs> somehow C- CLG could lose on uh, Saturday, and I mean, yeah, if both if both teams lose the next game, then they're still gonna be playing for first place. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We'll see what happens though. I mean, I I don't think. I don't think either of the teams are going to lose. Their their next loss is going to be against each other. No, yeah, they're dead. They're looking. They're both real fucking good. Yeah, so. like they're CLG looks pretty untouchable, and TSM is TSM. So go figure. Yeah. All right. Whoa. Well, 
we, we, we got, what do we got in news? Um, you know, I didn't really, um, I couldn't find anything cool or interesting this week in video game news. Um, I mean, there was a couple of, of releases this week, uh, such as the Game of Thrones episode 2, The Lost Lords. Um, that just came out. So if you're a Game of Thrones fan and play the Telltale Game of Thrones, uh, that's for you. I would like. I need. I'd like to play through it. I haven't played episode one yet, um, but I mean, it's it's Telltale. It's fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've never even played one of those games. I, I've, I've already, I've already said my piece with the whole Telltale chapter games. I, I'm just, I'm over it. I mean, I was reading a an interesting article on how what Telltale could learn from Square Enix's Life is Strange, which was what we talked about last. Yeah, uh, and it, it it it's cool. Um, I mean, Life is Strange. It, it was similar but different. Um, mm-hmm. I, I I thought it ran a lot better than Telltale games. Um, the interface was, was wicked good yeah. compared to how a lot of uh, Telltale games go um, with just how you can interact with the world. Um, like I, I don't know. It it had its own style compared to Telltale games, and had more character development than what Telltale games have. I mean, not like I'm trying to talk shit on Telltale, but <laughs> kind of. It's kind of what it sounded like there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, I I don't. Know. I I'll play Game of Thrones episode two this week, and we'll see how it goes. How's that? Do a <laughs> review of it next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We 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 could go with that. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Uh, did you see anything cool in news, Bobby? Uh, I have a lot of PlayStation news, if you guys want to talk about just PlayStation. Even your PlayStation. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, I have a PS4, I have a PC, I have an Xbox One. Uh, I, I, I'm, an, I'm an all-gamer. That's the yeah, yeah. All games master race. <laughs> well, all right. <clears throat> we can talk about that. Um, well, Hideo Kojima wants to make an open-world Metal Gear Solid remake. But we'll see how much time he has to actually do that. Um, was that what the two was all about? No, that's that's uh, Metal Gear Rising two. I'm sure of it. But that um, got debunked. That got debunked by him. Did it? Yeah, he posted on he, his Twitter. He also said that they weren't making Metal Gear Solid five. So <laughs> okay. I don't I, I I don't trust Kojima. But yeah, he wants to make an open world um, Metal Gear Solid one remake. So I don't know how that would work, but that's what he wants to do. Um, Super Stardust Ultra got a release date. It will be released on PS4 on February 10th and February 11th in Europe. It's going to be for $13. It looks like a lot of fun. It's, um, I really don't know how to describe this game. It's kind of like, um, Asteroids in a way. Okay. Kind of like the same style of gameplay. But it's, you know, high def and looks fun. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, this is news for uh, pretty much everybody. Techland to release modding tools for Dying Light, so they want to make uh, some mods for the game. They want to see what everybody can make. What What do you think they could add as mods for that? I have no idea. They could do They could do anything. Like look look at Skyrim. Look what they've done with Skyrim. True. That's they've true. They've done the world and back with that game. So. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I saw a, uh, I saw. A... A, a real life kissing mod for Skyrim. So, <laughs> oh, well, see, that was, there, there you go. So uh, that, that was posted on Kotaku or somewhere. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh man, uh, that was funny. Uh, let's see, Warhammer in Times Vermintide was announced uh, by Fat Shark. It's gonna be a co-op. I played any Warhammer games. Me neither. This is gonna be a co-op first-person shooter and melee combat adventure, releasing the second half of 2015. Okay. So there we got that going on. Um, Atlas released a gameplay trailer for Sona 5. So we've got that going on. Uh, look, it looks it looks good. I mean, <laughs> Persona. Yeah, I just looked at that too. Persona. Um, it looks like it's like a slice of life JRPG. So I mean, uh-huh. if you're into those, this one looks just like all the other ones. I want to play it, but we'll see. We'll see if I get around to it. Um, and this this game Summer Camp, where it's like a slasher villain game. I don't even know what is going on with this game. 
I don't know what it's about or what it is, but Jason Voorhees <laughs> is uh, the actor is playing the villain in the slasher game. So, I mean, if you're into that's awesome Friday the Thirteenth and stuff, that game is gonna be a thing. Um, Sony sells six point four million PS4 consoles in the latest quarter. Wow! Yeah, that's a lot. Good that's, for Sony. That's a lot. But yeah. the, Sony, the company, is still reporting a loss. Uh, so, yeah, they, uh, that sucks. They still, they still can't catch up. And it's not even because PS4, it's everything else that's going on. So, uh, um, I, I know we didn't talk about this, that we were going to talk about it before the show, but I yeah. kind of want to mention it. <laughs> um, have you guys heard anything on Star Citizen? I don't even know what the hell that is. No. Um, it's the largest crowdfunded <clears throat> game that's out there. It started on Kickstarter like a couple years ago. So far, they've raised seventy-two million dollars for this game. Wow! All crowdfunded, yeah. the entire that's, thing. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of money. Uh, and it's a uh, it's a space sim game. Um, so I got in on this on like the ground floor or whatever while it was in Kickstarter. Uh, spent like hundred fifty bucks on it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! What's and, it called? Uh, Star Citizen. Star Citizen, and uh, it uh, finally they just released their Arena Commander. For it, which is um, the first actual playable alpha, like early access alpha kind of thing, and it is so pretty. I, I for for a space sim, um, th- this game's awesome. It's it's definitely made for like Oculus Rift, um, like where you can move your head around on the mud and stuff. Um, but I got to finally play it, and it was it's beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if you guys ever played Free Space back in the day. But it's like a first-person HUD shooter uh, where where you're the spacecraft pilot. Um, but it's like a mix of that and Eve, and and it's a first-person shooter. It's uh, it's it's beautiful and awesome. The only problem is you have to spend real money in order to get these ships. Pay to win. It's yeah. <laughs> it's kind of pay to win. I mean, to get a carrier, you have to spend one hundred fifty dollars on a fucking carrier. Oh, get the um, hell out of here. But I mean, that's how they that that's how they've crowdfunded seventy two million dollars to make this game. That's, you crowdfunded <laughs> seventy two million dollars, and you still want more money. Microtransactions yeah. are ugh, the I don't, devil. I, yeah, like, and how they snuck their way into console gaming is so goddamn irritating. It, it I'm really I'm Dude, sick of I'm, microtransactions. Uh, I got a I got a confession to make. I bought GA money. Oh, uh, Nathan. <laughs> I needed a nice car. <laughs> hey, I, I'm I'm a sucker for microtransactions. Give me a microtransaction, I'll probably buy it. Yep, you're part if of the like problem. It's like five bucks. If it's five <laughs> bucks, sure, whatever. I'll spend five extra bucks. Make my life easier in a game. Don't uh, judge. Don't yeah, judge. Yeah, yeah, Stop yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Well, World Combat anyway. X is, Collector's Edition has been revealed. It's going to cost $150 and comes with a little scorpion statue because, you know, he's the face of the franchise. Microtransaction. Yeah, it's going to be a 28 centimeters hand-painted scorpion statue. Uh, Steel pack and card. The in-game scorpion skin. Combat pack and Mortal Kombat X Blood Ties comic book volume 1. That's what it comes with. Not worth one hundred and fifty dollars. No, no. I, that sounds I, like pay to win to me. It, yeah, it's, it's not a, it's not definitely not worth it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not interested. If I'm gonna get that game, I mean, it's, it's gonna be <laughs> for a fighting game. Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, some people are really into those, like the statues and stuff you can get with the game. So <clears throat> it's all, it's all just the statue. I'm gonna get is uh, Homeworld. Oh, Homeworld. Yeah. You, you know, you would, Homeworld, what yeah. I've been talking about for like three weeks yeah, now. I yeah. cannot wait to play it at the end of the month. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny is during this week, I got that game mixed up with, I think it's called Odd Oddworld? Oddworld, Apes yeah. Odyssey? So oh. I was like, really? Spencer's that hyped up for that game, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized I was thinking about a totally different game. And I was like, oh, uh, okay. That makes sense now. Yeah, yeah. Um, last thing I got is uh, Qbert. Is being re- Qbert rebooted coming to PlayStation systems. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, Qbert coming to PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and Vita. Oh, look at that, a Vita game. Who knew? On uh, February. It still exists? Yeah, seriously. Sony's just gonna let it die. Uh, on February 17th in North America and February 18th in Europe. 
It was it's already it's already out on a on PC and mobile, so I mean it's cool to get it on PlayStation, I guess. So you know what I'm excited about uh this month coming out? Homeworld? Um uh, mm-hmm. that and <laughs> this week on the thirteenth, uh Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask three D comes out on three D S. Oh, speaking speaking of Zelda, did you guys see that Netflix is getting their own Zelda live action show? I heard about show? that. Yeah. I don't know if really? it's real. I don't know if it's. It I would, heard that they were in talks about it. I don't know. Not it's, that it's in production or actually happening. It's getting getting uh getting pretty hectic over there. The greenlit? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, pretty hectic. I don't I'm just saying, man. It's it's not. I'm not. I I have a, a lot, a lot of a lot of doubts. A lot of doubts for that. I don't. I. I, mean, I, I don't want them to cool. make that. Yeah, that, that. That's neat, but I. I don't think they should do it. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna translate. Um. Yeah. I mean. I. I don't know. I've there. There was a like YouTube short. It was like a minute thirty seconds long with like a live action Zelda rolling around and going hey yeah. Yeah. But that was a joke. But it was. It was cool. It was well done. I, it was, I don't it was know. Right. It'd be fun. I just want to see Ganondorf. That's all. As long as they make Ganondorf cool and awesomely bad. Yeah, like <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, live action Zelda. There you go. That might happen. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, definitely we'll see. Um, any other cool news that you've heard about this week, Bobby or Nate? No. No, not really. Yeah, I just I mean, that's... some shit. And... Oh, Monster Hunter Four Ultimate also comes out on 3DS. It's a good week. I for heard 3DS. Wait, is that coming Jesus out on the Christ. U or the Wii U as well, or just the 3DS? I think they'll release it later on the Wii U because normally they come out with the mobile version first and then uh, yeah. up the graphics for the console itself. Okay, well then I'll buy a Wii U by then, and Bobby, we can play that shit because <laughs> I had a shit ton of fun in the third one, and that's one of my biggest regrets is selling my Wii U and I can't play that game anymore. Aww. Yeah. Um, my other favorite game, Evolve, comes out this week. Uh, Your favorite game? <laughs> yeah, you, you love that game. But so Nate, you were saying that you were watching some streams and it actually looked kind of fun. Yeah. Is I mean, it, is it sixty dollars worth of fun, or is it just, eh, that looks fun? See, yeah, it's it's just sixty dollars. <laughs> is so much money for a game as it is. Uh, I can understand I, if it I has a storyline. Yeah, but, but I mean. <sighs> I, I'd have to play it before I could really justify that, you know? I wouldn't feel like I'd give it its just due by just watching a video. Uh, yeah. But, it I mean, like, it looked cool. And, like, my biggest thing with video games is get a bunch of your buddies together and fucking do some shit. Then that game looks exactly like get four of your other friends together and then have a good time. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what else is get four of your friends together and have a good time? League of Legends. That. Or... <laughs> Or Dying Light with oh. Be a Zombie, which yeah, is the same premise as Evolve. We talked about, Bobby and I talked about this last week, and I, I, I we still did. stick to my guns on it. Bobby, did you try the Be a Zombie yet? I mean, you beat the fucking game. Did you try Be a Zombie? No, I, I, I didn't play that. Oh, I, I didn't have enough time to finish the game and actually play a different game and to review another game and play that at the same time. So Yeah. Oh, um, you baby. So anyway, be a zombie. You can get four of your friends together and be zombies together on one team, fighting against four other humans. Who but are also... the zombies like different? Do they have like different abilities? Like are they classed? That's what's kind of cool about Evolve. Like you got like your medic, and then you're this guy, and then you're that guy. And they all have individual uh, taunts to no. combine to make. Yes and no. It, I mean, you have like three different skill trees. So if everybody specs out in different skills, yes, you're classed and have different abilities. Yeah. Right? I like that. That's like my like my thing. I like having like one of each, you know. Yeah. Um. I mean, so it's. It, it, I I would say yes, you can be class depending on how you play it. Um. But yeah, I I feel like that that that's pretty cool. That it's just built into this game with this beautiful yeah, amazing story. Yeah, that's a pretty story. sweet like new like another mode. Thing. I mean, you yeah, can invade like someone else's game at night or yeah. if they have in the day settings. But I mean, you invade someone else's game. That say that they have four players on their game, they're fighting against four of you, and you're a monster. Okay, that sounds exactly like Evolve, just instead of one giant monster, you're four scary zombie monsters. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I just I just don't want us to get into too far into like a multiplayer only thing. I want games to branch out and have stories and then add multiplayer if you want to. But totally. Don't make a game only multiplayer. Hmm? That's what I want to see is some more like Dragon Age fables that are like multiplayer. I want to go on some epic quests with my bros. Yeah. Well, that's what the new fable is that they're coming with. It's multiplayer? Like, it's not like a oh, single yeah. player? Oh, yeah. Everything's multiplayer with it. And like, the, also, four, on top of that, I want three at least four player co op. Fucking tired that, of this one, like, one other guy that can play with me. Cool. I, I have more I than one friend. Think... <laughs> I think that's the. No, you don't. I think you can do multiplayer right, sure. co-op, and then there's also a multiplayer <clears throat> like wave scenario where you have one person on like a tablet or something, or with the top-down view, spawning all the monsters. So this one oh. person's like a commander of all the enemies, and then you and your three other bros get together and try to defeat this guy who has control of the entire map. Hmm. That sounds so, fun. It, it'll be a cool fable. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of excited for it. When's that come out? Like later um, this year? This year? Next yeah, year? Yeah, late. I think later this year. Uh, we'll see more at E3. For sure. Um, uh, yeah. But I, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited for that. Um, should be fun. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what, we'll see what they, uh, all the reveals at E3 and stuff. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. Video games this year. And next year, the, probably the following year. <laughs> Maybe they'll announce a new Nintendo console. Try to catch back up. Well, I mean, that's what I heard, is that they're, Nintendo's trying to branch out and do different consoles in different areas of the world. Which... Dude, did you hear the freaking new 3DS doesn't ship with a, a charging cable? Yeah, yeah, you have to get a separate charge. You have to buy a separate that's cable. That's so weird. Fucking retarded. Kind of a dick yeah. move. But... Yeah, super dick move. Here, you just bought this. Now buy something else. Cool. Yeah. Could you yeah. just charge me like five dollars extra and throw it in? It? Like, come on. Seriously, like, I, I don't, I don't understand that that move by stuff like, uh, not Sony, um, Nintendo. Nintendo. That, that that doesn't make any sense. It seems like a total like fuck you to their customers. It's just, yeah, almost like, like weird. Yeah. Yeah. I, the the was... only the only thing I could like justify it is is like their core audience are. Already own a 3DS. Already owns one. Yeah, so yeah. they they just have the charger already. So they're like, oh, why do you need two chargers? Get one but here. But they totally like fucking single out your new like your new customers. Yeah, like, for sure. Like that doesn't make sense. To, I mean, I I guess I get it, but that's fucking still. Yeah. It's just, just I don't know. Doesn't it's make silly. sense. It doesn't make sense. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Well, and then, I mean, they they they. Oh yeah. Hey, everybody already has the 3DS, but. Well, what what if you don't? And yeah. then they only let you have like game on one 3DS. So why would you have multiple 3DSs? Yeah, ex exactly, exactly. I don't know. It just it's not. I don't feel like that was a very smart marketing ploy, if you want to call yeah, it a marketing yeah, yeah. ploy. <laughs> I just just not 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 good. Not smart, Nintendo. Get your shit together. You done fucked up. Call Shuhei. Shu knows how to run a company. Shuhei, yep. Shuhei is the, the president of uh, PlayStation, in case you didn't know. <laughs> he's, brought, he's, brought that, he's brought that company back to life. Good on you, Shu. But you didn't <laughs> fuck this one up, buddy. Yeah. Shuhei's my homeboy. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's, one, it's one USB cable. They should just fucking include it. Yeah. It's a USB cable. It's so simple. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, seriously. Seriously, it doesn't make... Like, it, like, <laughs> like it's, it's almost... Um, blood red rage the, the fact that they didn't it, like include a fucking charger how hard was it to make the box a little bigger and charge an extra like five bucks like Nate said it doesn't make sense it just it doesn't make any sense I yeah I, I no, can't it's, it's yeah. a ploy for them to charge five dollars or ten dollars extra if it does include the you, charger you, no, you, you know what this is this is Nintendo's microtransactions those sons those of bitches, sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> You know what else they need to start selling is is Wii Wii U batteries, because my like tablet Wii U thing, yeah, uh, the battery dies in like five minutes, and I the, can't find a replacement. Anywhere. Yeah, you because you can't get a replacement battery. You can't get a replacement gamepad if it breaks for any reason. You can't um the, the you can't get a, a a regular charger from Nintendo if your your charger dies or something. I had like I had a cat that shoot through my Nintendo the the gamepad charger. 
and I had to buy an outsource one from Nyko, and it's really weird. It's like got like USB connectors in it, and it's just it doesn't make sense. Nintendo is I don't know. Microtransaction Nintendo hardware. Mic <laughs> microtransactions and ties. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, yeah. Nintendo. All I've That's ever great. all I've ever wanted was for you to just step your game up, and all you've ever done is let me down. <laughs> Every time. The, 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 the nostalgia in me wants Nintendo to, to rise up, but Nintendo doesn't want to rise up, so they're just no, going to keep they falling. Don't. They just want to do their own thing. Yeah. Um, so what games did we play this week? We kind of talked um, about it in the beginning. Yeah, I, I, got, I got Unfinished Swan. But I'll, 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 I'll re-review um, the ending of Dying Light. We, we could start that off for first. Um, yeah. yeah, go Dying Light. All right, Dying Light. Um, so the ending of the game, uh, the story, the story wasn't great by any means. It was good. It's definitely a good story, especially for like just a zombie game. Like they made that story out of a zombie game. Go figure. Um, the ending was good. I didn't see it coming, but I mean, my review doesn't change. I still give it, uh, grandpa beard with some fuzz. It's eight and a half. Um, Beard with fuzz. Yeah, I mean, it, it It didn't really change my mind about the game. It didn't really make it better. It didn't make it worse. It just made it the ending, I guess. I don't know. That's all I really have to say about that. What do you want to go with next? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, my oh, camera just oh, died. My yeah. camera died. We're looking at Spencer's floor and this terrible <laughs> cable management. Dude, get some uh, cable management. What are you doing? I'm We're having some te that. technical difficulties. All right, keep going. Keep Just keep going. going. All right. Off now. <laughs> All right, well then, uh, Nate, do you want to talk about your uh, good old Battlefield Hardline beta you played? Oh, yeah. Hold on. I was in the bathroom that time. <laughs> Wow, we're just right. we're, we are we're are not so we are not today. doing good right now. We were doing we were doing good. Now we just blew it. All right. No, <sighs> uh, yeah. So I played the beta. I played it on 360. I just saw it and was like, oh hey, neat. I'll download this. Um, started up. The first thing I noticed was the new like get money instead of experience mechanic. Like. In previous games, you if you like revived a teammate, if you spotted an enemy, did any sort of positive thing in the game, you get experience. Mm -hmm. Now instead of that, it is money. Oh. You use all that money to buy all your gun accessories. Before you had to you like uh, use a gun, get like 50 kills, you unlock the site, or you know like 200 yeah, yeah. kills, you get a grip. The standard it, like... standard leveling up system in first person shooters. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's still, like, the best shit is, um, or no, 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 you, you buy all this stuff with the money. The thing is, you, when you buy a gun, it's locked to a certain side. You're either the cop's gun or the robber's gun. Oh. Uh, I saved up $20,000 to buy one of the guns I used in Battlefield 4, mm -hmm. and it's only available on the cop's side. But <laughs> after you, after you, uh. you get, like... A certain amount of kills, I don't remember the number off the top of my head. It's available to both sides, so... Oh, okay. It's still kind of shitty, like, I don't know. Um, yeah, that, that's... thing I noticed... That's still kind of kind of weird that they would only, like... They have different guns for the each side. That's kind of weird. But, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. It's kind of silly, mm -hmm. but whatever. Um, the next thing they changed was the classes. And it was like, they... The, each class got new weapons, that, or there's not new weapons, but they changed around. So like the operator, which is the healer class in Battlefields, yeah, he gets the, the big change there is they get the carbines now instead of just the assault rifles. Um, I'm personally a big uh, carbine user, but I don't like using the medic class because I'm a like a mechanic. So I was kind of bummed about that. The mechanics now they only use SMGs. And I mean, I guess I kind of get it. It's, it is beta. The maps I played weren't too big, but there's a lot of close quarter combat. Yeah. So this SMG is getting like a more prominent role. Makes sense. Uh, the enforcer, which was previously the support class, they get shotguns and DMRs. Okay. And the other ones, they would get like a, a the heavy <coughs> the heavy machine guns, like your your RPKs and your just giant never ending guns. Yeah. Those are now power weapons on the map to pick up. Oh, okay. tr 
try to even that out. <clears throat> um, professional is just you're still a sniper class. Uh, that's your base sniper class. The new the one thing I noticed was that in Battlefield you had the new thing they added was uh, the commander position, which is like a guy that kind of looks at the map from like a top down perspective and can drop like ammo or vehicles on certain points. It can tell your team which points to go to, defend and attack and shit. Mm-hmm. So instead of being a commander, they they brought that same role back into this, and he's called a hacker now, which is kind of funny. <laughs> um, they added some new new tools. The, the The main ones are the grappling hook and the zip lines. Like, yeah. And those are also power weapons that you can find on the ground, or you can spend some of your money and buy and put them in as like your equipment slots. So that's kind of cool. You don't have to like, because if you want to get on a certain roof, you can get on pretty much anywhere, any roof now with the grappling hook, but it's just a matter of finding and having one. So if you actually bought one and had one always on you, I could see that being cool. Uh, it's nice because, like I said, you can shoot it onto the freaking roof and climb up and then get on any roof. So I'm sure fucking snipers are going to love that shit. Yeah. Uh, the zip lines are neat. They're super funny. You shoot them onto, like, there's like a range. You can obviously you can get from one roof to another, but you can also shoot them on flat ground, and you just go like zipping along the road. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Like you shoot it, and like the the arrow attaches, and then this weird tripod thing just pops up out of the ground or whatever posi- whatever platform you shot it off, and sets up the zip line. So and it's it's like multi use. So you can see I can see it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty neat. Uh, some of the new modes. There's conquest, which is like their main go-to camp. Uh, it's capture points and hold them, and then just drain out your te- the other team's tickets. Uh, the new mode heist. That's kind of. I feel like there's a lot of like rush mechanics. If you're familiar with the game mode rush. Yeah, uh, like rush this... twenty forty nine and stuff. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if you're joking right there or not. <laughs> uh, like the, the old car racing games. Oh okay, that's what I thought you were talking <laughs> I, I'm about. I'm just shaking yeah. my head at you, Bobby. <laughs> No, uh, heist, you go and you blow open a vault and you have to transfer the money, like briefcase, or it's like a duffel bag, and then you take it to a certain point and a helicopter comes in and picks it up. You have to hold down that point for a certain amount of time while the helicopter comes in and shit. So payday two? Yeah, it's, it's pretty much payday two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what, exactly what I thought. And then the last one I think is called Hotwire. I erased it off my little notes here. Like, oh, well. Uh, yeah, Hotwire. And that is... It's pretty pretty interesting. It's mobile, like you have to steal cars and hold on to them. And it's kind of like a mobile conquest mode. Like there's three cars and they just drive around and you the longer you hold on to them the more points you get. But the kicker is when you're in a car you're getting constant money. Like it's just a money farm. I sat in a guy's car for about 3 minutes and got like $10,000. It was oh, crazy. Geez. Yeah. So, like, if you're trying to level up, like, grind out money, that's the way to do it. It's pretty insane. And on top of all the other random shit you get from, like, if your passengers shoot a guy, you get some money. If you run over dudes, you get money. So, like, <laughs> that that mode is pretty, pretty uh, good, good to farm money. You want money? Go do that mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, overall, the game was, it's, it's fun. It definitely, like, it satisfies that battlefield itch of just like wanting to go kill some dudes uh i saw a guy in chat say battlefield over call of duty totally agree it's definitely battlefield core shooting mechanics and it's like core with uh some new shit thrown over the top um yeah it's the beta so it's kind of hard to like really give it a hard judge because you know, they could still change it up but obviously this is mostly just testing servers and stuff yeah. i didn't notice any glitches anything weird like cars, like I know in the Battlefield beta, I could crawl <laughs> into rocks and stuff and snipe out of them, and you couldn't shoot me. I didn't notice any of that. I mean, I wasn't really looking for that, but I mean, overall, it was it's a good time. Like I'm into it, just trying to have fun, and I had fun. So I don't know, awesome. it's pretty neat. So uh, I'll be on the lookout for that when that comes out. So we had somebody ask when uh, GTA Five is going to be released. Iced. Yeah, I was I was just looking that up, and I was going to bring that up. Um... According to this, it looks like um, the new release date's March 24th. For GTA 5 PC, but the article yeah. I was reading said that it was 
the heist would be released on consoles the coming the weeks prior to that uh, PC release yeah, date. I don't. I don't think they have a, a solid confirmed date on any of this stuff yet. Um, Rockstar's. If you want to talk about dropping the ball on things? Rockstar's doing it right now uh, with ah. this with this whole heist thing. They <laughs> they had such a good idea and everybody was really excited about it and they've just really kind of just let that ball roll up a hill and now it's gonna start coming back down. And it's just it's I don't know. Rockstar needs to figure this shit out. <clears throat> Well, we'll 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 see how the PC release of uh, GTA Five goes. I might get it. I'll, I'll find like yeah. Green Man Gaming discounted code <coughs> for it. I'm getting my uh, I'm getting my Xbox One in two weeks, and so that's gonna be one yeah. of the things I'm picking up. Oh my nice, god! Nice. Play iDarb with me. Play iDarb with me. I want to talk about iDarb. You want to talk about it right now? Hashtag we'll talk about it right now. iDarb. There you go. There's Wait, your that iDarb. Is not- <laughs> 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 Sorry, sorry. Oh, Nate, Nate and I decided we had to troll you real quick. <laughs> we didn't know what game you were playing before. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I darn. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> uh. Uh, so, hashtag IDARB. Um, basically, it's handball online with Super Saiyan powers. Nice, I like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it uses this thing called physics, but it's F I Z Z. ICKS. Oh, they spelled it funny. Physics. Yeah. <laughs> How um, clever. Shit. I think the audio recording just. Um. Anyway, uh, I hashtag IDARB. Uh, physics. You like move, You wiggle yourself around like my wiggle guys. Yes. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's good. It's pretty. Uh, pretty so so you wiggle yourself around and then like you release your your Super Saiyan power thing, and it uh. It, uh, that's how you like kick the ball from other players is with this like Super Saiyan orb that you uh, that you push out from from the center of your mass. Um, and, and yeah, so you you basically have to get the ball in the other person's goal. Um, yeah. But the interesting thing is, um, I think it's a great game for streamers to be able to interact with their viewers because every single game has a unique hashtag code um, that goes along with it. So if you link your Xbox One account to your Twitch account, um, you you get you use this hashtag code to have viewers fuck with your game. So like <laughs> you can your viewers can do like hashtag blackout and the entire screen turns black for five seconds or hashtag boo and like ghosts start popping up everywhere and like try to steal the ball from you. No, so viewers fucking... can fuck with your game. I awesome, saw like. one that was uh I don't remember what the hashtag was, but it was like the chick from the ring just popped up on your screen and it was <laughs> yeah. like a scare, like a jump scare. Uh-huh. Like that shit's That's pretty awesome. That's so funny. Um anyway, it's it's a fun game. If you want I I was playing with Brendan and Miranda and Josh and uh we were all playing online. And if you if you want to get really frustrated and upset and have a good time with your friends, um, <laughs> this is the game for you. Uh, nice. <laughs> uh, just because it's sometimes infuriating when it's like, oh yeah, yeah, I got the ball, pass it to me, and then like you know they intercept it and then go super saiyan on your ass and then you know they score like twenty points. Um, anyway, it's it's really fun, frustrating, and. A pretty cool, amazing game. I guess it it the the game was created from a tweet that someone did, which is like, uh, I have this red box, I and I'm gonna make a game. That's out of oh, yeah. This That's red the box. name is I drew a red box. And yeah. It's like the creator of the game's title. He just tweeted out says I drew this red box. What should I do with it? And then just yeah. went off of that. Um, yeah. It yeah. was created in like a month and a half because that was middle of January when that was posted. Yeah, it's, so I saw crazy. that. That's that's insane. So um, it's it's a great game, and this month it's free on Xbox Gold. So it just came out, free game, Xbox Gold. Go get it if you have an Xbox One. Even if you don't have an Xbox One, I think you can still sign on to Xbox Live uh, like in your browser and do the checkout process, and then it's linked to your account, I think. I don't know if that works or not. That's how it works with uh, PSN Plus That's how games. That's PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. I, I do that all the time. I have, like... A library just full of games that I'll never play because they were yep. free. 
I'm surprised that that game is releasing free. Like, I think it's kind of, I guess it's kind of smart because you'll get a bunch of people to like play it immediately, and then after the month, if it's like it stays on and people keep playing it, when it's no longer free, all the friends are gonna be like, "Dude, what are you playing? Playing some my dog? Check it out!" And they're like, "Oh, I gotta pay five dollars now. That sucks." Yeah, no, so. it's a, it's a great game to get some friends together and actually play it. I sounds like yeah. my kind of game, man. <laughs> it's 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 awesome, and there's like okay, so character selection. Um, there's like, there's like a million characters, isn't there? There's a lot of characters, uh, but it's like different themes for those characters. So it's like Tron or Moms or Breakfast. I saw so Halo you can be one. like, yeah. So they've got Halo. So you can be a piece of bacon and an egg, and like that's the breakfast team. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> you should just make your own like themed teams. Yeah, I think you can, and you can make your own flags and stuff, like your team you can. flags. You can. I I played against a penis one time. Nice. Somebody nice. Good job. created a penis. So. TTP was about one hour for that game. Time to penis was one hour. <laughs> <laughs> it only um, took you an hour, huh? Uh, well, I mean, you know, that that's what developers try to go away from is like, okay, what can we do to have people not make penises out of the things we put in our game? But, I mean, there's a TTP for every game. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. So, it's, it's hard to avoid the, really the penis is. shots. I mean, every game's going to have one. Yep. Like, huh, that looks like a dick. Uh -huh. I gotta post that on the internet. <laughs> it's it's like cats, <laughs> but dicks. Cats. Cats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. Uh, anyway, iDarv, it's fun. It's free. Go download it. It's fun. That's, it's free. What any, any rating? We're just gonna leave it at that. Um, rating. Oh God, you should go over our rating system again, Bobby, because I don't have it written down anywhere. God, you should. You need to write it down. <laughs> Well, so type it out. <laughs> you need to write it down. I wrote it down. It's right here. I got it written down right here on my notes. Um, zero is a baby face. One is a Hitler mustache. Two is a butler mustache. Three is the Selic. Four is an evil twin mustache. Five is a Mongolian warlord. Six is the sea captain. Seven is a lumberjack beard. Eight is a grandpa beard. Nine is a wizard. And ten is a super wizard. And fuzz is a half? Yeah, and with some fuzz would be a half, half a point. All right. I give Idarb a lumberjack beard with some fuzz, a seven and a half. Nice. It's it's a it's a great game. It's really fun. And uh, I, when I was playing with Miranda, um, got so mad and pissed off and frustrated. Um, yeah, it was, and it, it's just an infuriating game because like you never want the ball stolen from you, but it's always fucking stolen. <laughs> they always steal it with their super saiyan powers and then jump around the map. And then shit just happens. It's crazy, huh? It gets crazy. It's <laughs> Dude, really I fun. You, I wish you would have been streaming that shit. I would have been uh, tweeting. Yeah, like I, 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 why didn't, why didn't you stream that game? Um, because I was playing out in the living room, and I didn't, I, I, I it was, it's hard to stream in the living. Because all my setups in here in my gaming room, huh. my cool gaming setup. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll play it this week, and we'll, I'll stream it, and then you guys can fuck with my game. I will. Sounds good. I'll take you up on that. All right. Well, I'll talk about the unfinished swan. Um, okay. Unfinished swan. Do it. Yeah, it's, um, it's a story about a boy that's chasing after a swan that his mom never finished. She painted a lot of paintings, but she never finished the swan. So he wanted to finish the swan. So he's chasing after the swan in this world where when you first load into the game, you're just in... It's a white wall. It's just white. Everything's white. You can't see anything. And you start throwing little paintballs to paint the world around you to be able to see anything. So you do that to get through. You're chasing after this swan. Um, the artwork in the game is phenomenal. It's a gr great, great artwork in this game. Uh, if you've never played it, I recommend playing it just for the artwork. It's pretty cheap. It's not a very expensive game if you're a PlayStation. Um, the story was, was good. You uh, chasing after the swan. You're trying to help finish it for your mom, and you're also finding these little storyboard parts in the walls. You throw the paintball on it, and it reveals the storyboard, and it tells you the story of this king who made this kingdom, and all these things that are happening in the kingdom. And um, eventually, you run into the king, and he tells you about how this kingdom was his dream, and you're in the dream as the little boy. And it's just crazy fun stuff. Um, the storyboard thing is really cool. 
I didn't actually find them all yet, so I don't even know the whole story. But they're just you see letter like letters in the game, and you just throw something at it, and it just reveals this whole story, little pictures, and the uh, narrator comes on, tells you what's going on in the story. Uh, my only real beef with this game is that it was really short. Um, uh, it's probably only like three hours long, uh, maybe three and a half. So yeah, it's it's not very very long. If you want to play it, it doesn't take long to finish it. If you want to fit, get 100% everything, get everything, it would probably only take you another couple hours. Um, overall, I'd say this game is probably worth uh, Wizard Wizard Beard. Wizard Dang. Beard. Dang. Yeah. Wizard Beard. Yeah. I'd give it a nine. Wow. Yeah. It's 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 a for it only being um, you know the three hours that it is. It's a great game. Cool. Well, um, yeah, it sounds super artsy. I, I kind of like that. Stuff and discover your world. And I don't know. I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Cool. It's a well, good game. It's a fun game. I'm, I, at that kind of rating, I'm going to have to play it now. Yeah, I highly recommend it to everybody. Definitely go play that game. Cool. Yeah. So that's the Unfinished Swan. Um, There's not a whole lot to talk about. It's a really short game, so there's not really a whole lot more to talk about other than that. Fun and artsy and, and story. Yeah, you cool. get it. I get it. That's, that's <laughs> there. You got it. Good. Good. Do you want me to explain okay. it to you again? No. It's I'm, this I'm really right. fun artsy game that can, um, you know. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, the only thing I got left is a uh, Apotheon. Yeah, Apotheon. Which is Woo. the indie version of God of War. Oh, sounds exciting. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely the... It, it's it's it, of work. I yeah. Um, it's it's alright. I got kind of bored. I didn't play it very much. I didn't finish it. Didn't really play it a whole like lot. like an hour, right? Yeah, hour, I played it for like an hour, hour and a half, yeah. Got a couple of the, the gods things. Killed a couple of the gods. It's basically, seriously, God of War in, in an indie game. You're a guy that wakes up and this big, huge war is going on. All these guys are attacking your village. You go and you find, um, I think it's Athena or somebody like that. And they're like, hey, if you kill all these gods, you'll get all these powers and you can save your people. And they're like, oh, okay, so I have to climb Mount Olympus to get to Zeus, kill all wait, of wait, this. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, back up, back up. Yeah. The way she presents it to you, though. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just have to talk about this. Okay, so so all your people are dying from, you know, some horrible thing where somebody invaded your town and now everybody's dying. Um, and then you find Athena or whatever and she's like, I present you with a choice. Either climb Mount Olympus and and kill all the gods or stay here and rot. Yes. Yeah, like, here's your stay choice. Here and die, or climb Mount Olympus, get all these powers and save your people. <laughs> like, what? like, okay. Come on. So this is an actual choice in the game? Can I actually choose to stay here? What am I going to do for the rest of the game? Am I just going to run around the city and eventually die or run out of weapons? I don't know. Will it turn into like a, a post-apocalyptic zombie game or something if I just stay in the town? Yeah, like I, I don't I don't know. That, that was just uh, it was an awkward way to bring that up, bring it into the game. I just thought it was funny. Yeah. That's all. Just had to mention it. Anyway, continue. Uh, you start climbing Mount Olympus. Uh, you, okay, yeah. You your whole, the whole premise of the game is you're trying to kill Zeus because the gods have given up on your people and that they want you to, you know, get all these god powers and save your people. That's pretty much the whole story behind the game is what I got. <laughs> yeah. I, like I said, I didn't really play it very much. Kind of gave up on it. It wasn't, I, it wasn't for me. It was, I didn't have very much fun. So I got through the first mission, killed the Chimera, killed the, the dire wolf thing, and then was trying to cleanse the, some area where I had to like destroy a bunch of pots. I felt like Link all over again in Zelda. Um, anyway, but it sucks because like, you get hit once, and they like it's one-shot death in that room. I gave up after that. I'm like, nope. No, not for me. Not for me. Too difficult. Too tough. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> this game's too hard. I don't like it. Give me, give me easy mode, cause that's what I like. <laughs> yeah. 
the, the, the weapons in the game were kind of neat. Um, some of them didn't work. Like, you had, like, a giant a halberd if you swung it, and it didn't hit right where the, the axe blade was. It Like, if they were, like, up against yep. you, you couldn't do anything, and you died. Yeah. So Like, I had the, the champion's blade or whatever. I'm like, oh, man, this thing has to be awesome. It's called a champion's blade. Yeah. But it was, like, the slowest weapon in the entire game. You can never hit anything. And, and your, wep- your weapons can break. You can't fix them. Um, oh. Yeah. So I beat uh, Apollo. I killed Apollo. And I got his, like, flaming sword thing. And I got to use it for ten minutes, and it broke. And I never got to fully use it again. So thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So I guess it was fun while it lasted. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, Apotheon, uh, what what kind of rating do you give this game? This 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 2D remake of Gods of War. <laughs> the 2D side scroller God of War. Um uh, without playing all the way through it and what I've seen, I can't imagine that it's going to get much different than I I'll I'll give it a Mongolian warlord. Mongolian warlord? Yeah. Yeah, I I agree with that rating. I I agree. Yeah, so it's giving that's, five. That's about it. Give it a 5. Yeah. Without playing the story all the way through and I don't see it getting much different than running along sides and having to kill gods, and that's the same. Yeah, it's it's God of War, and I played God of War, and I'd rather play God of War with Kratos than <laughs> weird guy that I've never met. Before. Yeah, totally. Um, all right, so Mongolian warlord. That's all I got. I think that's all the games that we played this week. It was it wasn't a very exciting week for video game yeah, really releases. Uh, nothing, I don't think anything comes out crazy that I'm really looking forward to, which is the. But I won't well, start playing okay. that game until the twenty second. So don't you expect, have to don't... play Homeworld with me, Bobby. <laughs> What's that come out on? What yeah, are you getting it on? What, 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 it comes out on. It's it's C only. It's an RTS. We, we, so, can, we can play home please. Home. Is it multiplayer? Play, we, is it like four people co-op? So so the uh the storyline is solo, like the campaign, uh which is perfectly fine because the story is fucking amazing. Um Say but so. Shut up. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, storyline's fucking amazing. Um and then the uh, the multiplayer is is basically StarCraft, where it's like you have three people on your team and you're fighting against, um, and you have to build up your army and then go destroy their mothership. Oh, okay. Anyway, multiplayer is really fun and competitive, and it takes place in 3D space, so it's not just X and Y axis; it's also Z axis. So you can go up and down and like flank them by going over and around, and this is just awesome. <laughs> It's so good in it's, space. It's, just it's, awesome. it's, it's so, so good. It's so pretty in space. <laughs> um, so that comes out on the 25th, and you guys have to play that with me, please. I'll gift I'm it not. to you if you don't have the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll be playing the order that week. I already gifted so. it to Brendan. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to start playing the order until after our show on the 22nd. So yeah. I'll start. So the order comes out on the 20th? Yeah, it comes out on a Friday. Weird. Really? Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Yeah, it comes out on a Friday, and on the 20th. And it's a PS4 exclusive. It's not anything else. It's just PS4. Yep, just PS4. Well, have fun All right. with that, you jerk. Friday. Well, maybe you should get a PS4 instead of an Xbox One. Uh... Maybe you should shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else comes out? Sims 4 comes out on uh, February 17th. If anybody is a fan of The Sims, I'm not really a fan of The Sims. Dude, that's, Sims are so, like, 2002. Yeah, and then yeah. that's, like, two weeks away, man. But the 17th? Yeah, that's next week. That's not this week. Uh, Yeah, I know. There's nothing really coming out this week. Evolve. Ugh, I don't want to <laughs> play Evolve. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Evolve's coming out. So I think that's um, I think that's the only AAA game. So. I I think I think my copy of Majora's Mask gets here on Friday. Um, so Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D remake for 3DS, and I'll I'll play that as much as I can uh, Friday, Saturday, and then we'll do podcasts on Sunday, and I'll talk about it. 
Yeah. The shelf. Um, if anybody has a 3DS, play some Monster Hunter 4. Oh, when is that? That's Bro, this week. Is that, is that Don't Tuesday? bring that up. I'm looking at that right now. Is that this Tuesday? That's Friday. 13th. I mean, I do Friday. have a 3DS, so I guess technically we could, I could get it and we could still play. On Friday the 13th, Monster Hunter 4. Oh, snizzle. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Sh- I don't know if I should buy Evolve or not. I don't want to buy it for sixty bucks. I'll pay like fifteen or twenty for it. I don't want to pay sixty for a multiplayer game. So I'll play it just for the sake of the podcast. Uh, mm. uh, you don't have to play anything you don't want to play. I'm not gonna make <laughs> you play a game just to review it. Play a game you want to play. Play a game that looks like fun. Review the game. Talk yeah. about the game. Have fun with the game. Like yeah, Shog- so, Shog- Shogun, a- Shogun agrees with me in chat that Evolve is poopy. Evolve is poopy. <laughs> yeah, see? And Evolve it's real poopy. poopy. I agree with you, Shogun. I hate it. <laughs> uh, it's not coming. Yeah. Okay, so apparently Monster Hunter 4 isn't coming to the Wii U ever. It'll come to the Wii U. See? Watch. If, if not, It'll if happen not, eventually. I'm not going to play it, so. Nintendo Ooh, microtransaction. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you don't have a 3DS? Go. go buy a 3DS. You don't have a charger? Go buy a charger. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how Nintendo's doing their microtransaction. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, another boring week in gaming. That sucks. I want more releases so bad. Yeah, maybe this week I'll, I'll, I'll get down on uh, Dragon Age. That's weird. My internet just halfway died. Man, maybe I'll settle on. down and I'll buy a Dragon Age. When's that come out? Next Thursday or next Friday? Not Dragon Age, uh, Monster Hunter. Yeah, Friday the 13th. Alright, Nate, I'll buy that shit. We'll play some. Um, yeah, so Majora's Mask and Monster Hunter, both 3DS games. I'm not sure how I'm going to stream it, but I want to. Uh, you you I... can stream 3DS games. I've seen it done before. Yeah, I know you can. I, I, I... Yeah. I'd like to. It'd be cool. You, we all got 3DSs. There's no reason. I just want a big screen. I'm greedy. Yeah, I, I just, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Again, Nintendo, let me down. I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather play on a big screen too, but, you know, Nintendo wants to sell that 3DS. Uh, I guess. Without the charger. <laughs> yeah, Without the with, charger. with no charger. Does that only work on the new ones, or? I don't know. It worked I, on the I, old ones, right? I assume like... it worked on the old ones. The, old, the only thing that's really different with the new ones is a little nub that they, count, they call a, a button. And I heard that nub sucks. Yeah, no, it it looks shitty. Uh, and it has a faster uh, processor in it, I think. So, um, Super Stardust Ultra comes out on PS4, uh, on Tuesday. Yeah. Which? Did we talk about that earlier? Yeah, I brought it up in my little. Segment. Yeah. Um, I might get that. I, I mean, Eurogamer gave it a 9 out of 10, IGN 8.7. I mean, the, and, and I like space, obviously. Homeworld. <laughs> I don't know, a little bit. Yeah. Um, I, I, I mean, we, we got a couple games. Yeah. Right, we got a couple games to look forward to for next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I agree with Shogun. Nintendo should make an attachment like they did for the game. That way you could play the 3DS on the Wii U. I wholeheartedly agree, but they won't, because nope. Nintendo is into their own little version of micro. But microtransaction <sighs> to play it on your Wii U. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> what, 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 what makes more money? Making people buy a 3DS to play this sweet game, or a little $25 attachment that hooks up to the TV? Well, or have the attachment on the 3DS, so you have to buy the 3DS, put the game in the 3DS, put yeah. the attachment on the 3DS, and then it goes to the Wii U. Yeah. Done. More microtransaction. <laughs> yeah. Secret microtransaction. Um, well, <laughs> cool. Do we have anything else we want to bring up, talk about? Um, I, uh, on a, uh, the, this is kind of not on a gaming note, but... Uh, uh, my my cell phone, my beautiful cell phone here, has no service from Verizon because there was a big fire. A uh, hundred power, a hundred uh, lines are down, and fifty thousand feet of fiber cable, and now there's no end in sight as to when I'll get service. 
back. So, um, yeah, thanks, Verizon, the most reliable network. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Fire, for burning stuff. <laughs> Verizon yeah. for taking the blame. What the hell? How are you going to blame Verizon um, for that? Uh, because, okay, so, I, I obviously, I still have internet right now, right? I'm online streaming. Um, and that's through Digital 395, which made uh, a big, nice backbone trunk up the highway. Um, so now I have fast internet. But Verizon wanted to do that before um, before Digital 395, government subsidies or whatever. So they made their own fiber line. So because they made their own fiber line and didn't go with the one that everyone else had, uh, they ran it over uh, over the ground on poles instead of under the ground uh, where it should have been, to not get burned. Um, ah. So now my internet uh, or all all landlines, all Verizon internet, and all cell service is completely non-existent where I live right now. It's great. That sucks. Yeah. I just wanted to say, you know, Verizon, <laughs> the most reliable network. That's, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's Thanks all I so. got. This was a fun show this week. Thank you all for joining us. It's Yay! Been, that's been Beards, Tattoos, and Video Games, episode number two. First episode is available on YouTube, and it's on our archive broadcast. Also, working on iTunes. Yeah, we're working on the iTunes to get the podcast up. Also, um, make sure to go like us on Facebook. Like us on Facebook, follow us on YouTube, subscribe to us on YouTube. Check out our streams throughout the week on yeah, our personal we, pages. We, we all stream week uh, all week long on our games. Make sure to follow us on Twitter. We have a Twitter. Go do that. Um, yeah. I didn't even know that. Uh, my Twitch is the uh, Party Train, P4RTYTRAIN. Spencer is Spencer1. And yeah, Nate it's pretty easy. is always... Mr. Flankton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Flankton. Just, just Flankton. Flankton. Just Flankton. Don't put Mr. I mean, you can, but that won't be me. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a Mr. Flankton out there. Fuck that guy. Yeah. That's not me. So thanks for joining us this week, guys. It was fun. Good show. Good show, good fight, and good night.